Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan Rissica and I'm a fashion and lifestyle vlogger. And today I'm really excited because I am doing a summer Trader Joe's haul. I love Trader Joe's. I always love picking out their seasonal items and I got a lot of their seasonal items here with me today. I have like six, seven, eight bags of groceries behind me. So I'm gonna unpack them and I'm gonna walk you through everything that I purchased from Trader Joe's for July. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and let's get started with today's haul. Well, I just got home, $216 worth of groceries and three bunches of peonies. I'm really excited to show you what I got today. But first things first, my beautiful peonies, my favorite flower, I need to go in some water ASAP. All right, so to begin, I'm gonna do this in kind of two parts. I'm gonna film this vlog style. I'm just gonna show you some of the new seasonal items that are frozen, some of the seasonal meats and the other meat that I got. So the first thing that I got was the salmon burgers. I also got a sauce to put on them that I'll show you a little bit later. Um, I have tried these before. They're really good on the grill. I don't love them if they're baked, just a side note, but I do like them on the grill. If you've seen my channel before, the pesto chicken breast is something that I get all the time, like all the time. Um, and I make it with salads. I make it with the pesto pasta veggie saute kit. That's how we're going to be eating it next week. But I really like this. It's very versatile. You can have it with pasta, salads, a lot of different things. It's really, really good. I absolutely love the chicken shawarma, and I believe that this is a new item. This is the shawarma beef sirloin. This is grill ready, so I'm gonna put this on the grill with some vegetables um, sometime, probably in the next couple weeks, but I'm gonna freeze it for right now. And it looks like it is, there's four servings per container and it's 200 calories. So with some vegetables, this is a pretty healthy meal and something different to serve in the summertime. The next couple items are more grill items. This is the barbecue cut salmon. This is awesome to just put on the grill. I really, really like it. It's a little bit thicker. So when you're cooking it on the grill, it's just easier, easier cleanup, easier to cook it. I really like it. Um, it says also, also you barbecue with the skin side down and you do not turn it, um, but it makes a really delicious salmon on the grill. And then basic flank steak. Sometimes this is so hard to find in our grocery store around here that Trader Joe's almost always has it. So I do pick it up while I'm at Trader Joe's because I like to make like a soy sauce, sesame oil seasoning with some onions and chives. And that's how I marinate it. It's really good on the grill as well. Moving over to some dessert items. I do have a couple of seasonal um, meat items, but I wanna get these in the freezer. ASAP is the Trader Joe's Key Lime Pie. This is frozen, you just defrost and share it. I'm really excited to try this. I haven't seen this before. So this is another new item as well. This looks really yummy. And then I also picked up the non-dairy frozen dessert, chocolate fudge oat bar. So this is gluten-free vegan. It has four bars and it's just like a frozen dessert. I thought this would be good for David. I believe each bar is a hundred calories, which is a great little dessert for the summer. So it's to satisfy really our chocolate and ice cream urges that we have often in this house. These are the two new meat items that I saw. And when I see these items, I usually pick up a couple and buy them right when I see them because basically if I go back, they'll be gone. But I got the Argentinian red shrimp. So this is ginger, garlic butter, and a different kind of seasoning. It says that it is, um, you saute them basically. This is something you put on the grill. And then I also got the Atlantic Salmon with the Leaven Herb Butter. So this looks really great too. I love items that are healthy that I can just throw in the oven without even seasoning or anything. It comes with the seasoning packets right there. It's frozen with the skin on. These are some really delicious items as well. A couple additional freezer items that I found. I think these are new. I've never purchased them or seen them before is the Colorful Carrot Coins. So these are orange, yellow, and purple and white carrots. I'm not sure how to cook these. I just saw them and I thought they were cute. Um, it looks like you can microwave or cook them on the stove top and they only take like 45 minutes to cook, which is really nice. This is a, just a good item to keep in the freezer for meals. And then I also got this pasta. It just sounded really 
good to me. It's a creamy sauce. Um, yeah, it looks good. I may add some fresh basil to that and maybe like chicken or salmon to go with that as well. Now for some of my dairy items that I want to get into the refrigerator as soon as possible. I picked up some sliced Munster cheese that's going to go on top of that salmon burger that I was telling you about. I also picked up the cilantro dressing. I've never seen this at Trader Joe's before, but I'm going to try to make a new salad slash bowl um, that I had when I was in Florida. I'm going to try to recreate it. So the cilantro dressing would be perfect for this. And it is a mayo base, so you can use it for salad dressing or as like a, a sauce for meats. Um, I thought that was really great. Again, oat milk is something that I always pick up. I almost always pick up this fresh squeezed lemonade as well. I really like it. It's something that's just nice to keep in the refrigerator for parties or dinners, whatever. I just like lemonade and it's really good. I also have been really loving this coconut and almond creamer. This is the vanilla flavored. It's really good. They have something similar to this at Target that I pick up sometimes, but when I'm at Trader Joe's, I always scoop this up. The other items I almost always scoop up as well is the coconut whip topping. This is, I believe it's 10 calories, 10 calories for two tablespoons. So this is great to go on your coffee. It's really delicious. And then I almost always get the very green smoothie. I usually drink a half of one of these in the morning. It's kind of good to keep on the go and it's just really delicious and you get some fruits and vegetables as well. All right, the next two items are kind of go-to items, but I believe that this is a new item. I have tried it before and it was at Trader Joe's again and it's really good, but I love this pesto pasta veggie saute kit. It has some noodles, but it's mostly vegetables and the pesto sauce, and you basically just cook it on the stove top. It's really quick and there's eight servings per container. A serving size is one cup and it's 80 calories, so this is really healthy. It tastes good the next day. I really recommend this saute kit, it's so delicious. I'm not sure if they make any other kind or if it's just pesto, but this is always a hit in my house, it's really good. And then the lemony arugula basil salad kit is another really tasty, delicious kind of summer salad. I'm really excited to eat this again, it looks like it is per serving 150 calories, which is good. And I'm just gonna make it with the salad that I showed you on the grill. All right, a couple basic items that I got were an onion, an avocado, three ears of corn. And these corn were so cheap. I wanna say they were like 32 cents. I'm assuming it's because they're in season, but they were really affordable. And then I also got this cucumber, I like to just eat cucumbers and ranch as a snack, so I try to keep a cucumber in stock at my house as well. And then one of my favorite, basically vegetables, is broccolini. I love it. It can be steamed, roasted, grilled. We really like it on the grill. Um, so I picked up the baby broccolinis to put on the grill with that flank steak that I showed you. That's a meal that we're gonna do next week, but yum. Yum, yum. And broccolinis are hard to find in Michigan. I think it's more like West Coast, maybe. I don't know. But when I find them, I always grab them because they're delicious. So these are a mix of the sauces and seasonings that I got. Some are staples, and then most of them are new or seasonal. So I am going to walk you through that. We have been using the citrusy garlic seasoning. This is really good on shrimp or seafood. It's really great. I also got this seasoning. I haven't used this one yet. I bought this uh, last Trader Joe's haul. Um, I haven't used it yet. I did open it, but I think I'm gonna put this on corn on the grill. I think that will be really yummy. I also got this teriyaki sauce. Um, it's a marinade for meat, poultry, fish, tofu, vegetables. This should be really, really good. I'm excited to try this. This is also seasonal just as a heads up. So if you see it at your Trader Joe's, grab it now. They also have this fry sauce and a fry sauce is really just ketchup and mayo. Um, I don't know yeah. what this one has in it, but I did pick it up because it's grilling and burger season. I thought this would really be good on basically or any grilled item, fries, burgers, whatever. So I did scoop that up. I'm going to guess that this is going to be more of a staple item, but I would still uh, grab it if you can because I'm not sure if it's seasonal or not. I also picked up this organic sweet and spicy pineapple barbecue sauce. This looks delicious. I can't wait to grill some chicken uh, with this. It's going to be really good. 
And then I also got this chili lime mayo. I think we're gonna use this on our salmon burgers that I was telling you about. I'm, I mean, this is gonna be excellent. I cannot wait for this. I do like a little spicy and lime. I think it will be really good. And then I also got my pesto sauce that I get every single time I go to Trader Joe's without fail. I always grab pesto because we eat it all the time. The last few items I got are seasonal, except I think these sparkling waters, but I do think they just arrived at Trader Joe's, but I could be wrong. My Aunt Carol said that we need to try this sparkling water. So we got the blood orange flavor and the lemon flavor. So this should be really good. This is at Trader Joe's. I don't know if you can get them anywhere else except Trader Joe's, but this is more fruit, not so like hint of fruit beverages. I also got this sparkling lemonade. I know I said it just recently. I love lemonade. So sparkling lemonade is right up my alley. It sounds really, really good. I also picked up some of these pastas. Um, this one's like really cute and kind of like rainbow colored. And then this one is just delicious. I like to make this with the TikTok pasta. I love these noodles. But these ones are fun for pasta sales just to add a little color. They're a different kind of style noodle. They remind me of a unicorn horn. <laughs> but they're really cute. And again, cute in pasta salads to brighten up basically what you're cooking. And then I also got this dark chocolate watermelon sticks. So it says soft and chewy center dipped in dark chocolate. These look really good. Anything dipped in chocolate is good, but this is seasonal as well. So I scooped that up. The last random thing I got was a wedding card. Um, I'm a wedding planner, so I try to pick up cards, cute cards wherever I go. And Trader Joe's has adorable cards and I love the little like printed congratulations. It just looks really cute. They're affordable, they're good cards to keep around. I just threw these on the table really quick in this vase, but as they open up, this arrangement will fill. It will look more full. So that's what I did there. This is kind of my like spring tablescape with this runner and the placemat. So that's just a little sneak peek of what we have going on here. If you look over there, you can see Finn and Lola sunbathing in the corner. So precious. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this Trader Joe's haul. More Trader Joe's will be coming your way probably in the later summer. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and please make sure to stay tuned for more fashion, beauty reviews, hauls, and travel videos coming very, very soon. Bye everyone.